All right, hello, this is Mr. Kenyon Nola, and I'm going to help you figure out the measure of arc JKL. So let's try to visualize what uh, the question is asking for. So remember, so this, this symbol right here is arc, not angle. So we're going to highlight the angle, the, <laughs> we're going to highlight the arc JKL. So from here, we'll highlight J to K to L. So our job is to figure out how many degrees is it from here all the way to here? What's that rotation from here to here? So they give us a couple hints. Um, they give us uh, this arc right here and this little arc and this little arc saying that this angle is congruent to this angle, which is also congruent to this angle. So if all three angles are congruent, we could call each of them x. So this is x, this is x, and this is x. Since they all have the same measure, and we don't know what the measure of those angles are yet. Um, so that's an important word in life and, or in, in math. If you don't get it, you just don't get it yet. You'll eventually figure it out if you keep working at it. So we don't have the answer yet. Uh, so this is x, this is x, and this is x. And all three angles make up this line right here. So that's going to be very helpful. Uh, so uh, this whole line is 180 degrees. So all three angles put together are supplementary. So we can figure out x this way. So we could just write x plus x plus x is equal to 180 degrees because all three angles make this straight line. Uh, so let's combine like terms. X plus X plus X is 3X is equal to 180 degrees. The opposite of multiplying 3 into X is dividing the 3, both sides. 3 divided by 3, cancel that out so that we just have X and 180 divided by 3 is 60. But we're not done yet because the question says find this, not this. So, uh, here we have JKL right here. And so let's try to think back for a few. Um, uh, so thinking back, this is a tangent line because it touches the circle at just one point. And here's a secant. Oh, this is a chord um, because it touches the circle twice. And a tangent and a chord, its measure, that angle measure right here, is half the measure of the arc that it's eating or it's intercepting. So if this x is 60 degrees and it's half the measure of this angle or this arc right here, this arc should be 120 degrees because that's half. This is twice. Now this angle right here made up of two chords two lines that where the vertex is on the circle is an inscribed angle. If you guys remember, an inscribed angle is half of the measure of its intercepted arc or the arc that it's eating, chomping down on this arc right here. So if this is 60, because we just figured out X is 60 and it's half the measure of this, LK. So the measure of arc LK should be twice as much as this. So this is also 120 degrees. And so we want J to K to L. So all we're going to do is just add up these two numbers. 120 plus 120 is 240 degrees. So we just added those up. Hope that helps. Um, so again, quick recap. All three of these angles are supplementary. All three of these angles are congruent because this arc says that this arc and this arc or this angle, this angle, this angle are congruent. So we figured out what each of those angles equals and e each of those angles equals 60 degrees. And, um, and because this arc is twice the measure of its angle, so this arc is twice as much. This arc is twice as much as its inscribed angle, so it's twice as much. So we just added this arc plus this arc to get this final correct answer of 240 degrees. That's it. Hope you guys, uh, this helped you guys and uh, you can get it correct in whatever test or future assessment you have on the SATs, ACTs, or a chapter test. So yeah, have a great day.